Hello viewers, welcome back. Today we will start a new series of video with Symmetric Manager. Siemens introduced step 7, in short it is S7, in early 1990s with 3 series of PLC. One series is S7200, second is S7300 and 400, last is 400. And S7200 series PLC you can program by microwin. And for S7300-400 you need Symmetric Manager. But later Siemens introduced TIA portal, totally integrated automation portal. And with S7200 series PLC. Later also introduced S7500 series PLC. By TIA portal you can program for S7300 series PLC also. But today we will start a series video with Symmetric Manager. Okay. Symmetric Manager, there are two versions. One is basic, another is professional. In basic version, you cannot find the simulation program with integrated. You need to install separately. Also, for SCL language, you need to install separately but if you install symmetric manager professional version you will get the SCL language as well as the PLC simulation program also I have installed symmetric manager version 5.6 okay here you can see version 5.6 okay here you can see the simulation program by installing that professional version, it will automatically install. You can create the project by two way by clicking new and by clicking new project wizard. If you create the project by new, this one or by clicking this one, you need to separately add the PLC rack and hardware also. But if you create the program by using the new project wizard you can add from that wizard okay i have clicked that new project user next it will ask for select a cpu okay it depends on you which types of cpu you want to take in your project okay i will take CPU 315 to means this CPU has Profinet and Profibus both communication protocol ok here you can see the MPA address you can select up to 31 yes up to 31 by default it is 2 and when you select the CPU here you can see the CPU work memory but you know the Siemens PLC not work without extra memory card ok and that memory card made by Siemens there is a firmware software in that in that uh, memory card hidden you cannot see that file ok now click next here it will ask for the organization block by default it is selected ob1 because it is a cyclic execution main cyclic execution block that ob1 will interconnect will interconnect with the cpu operating system and user program okay you can also add other organization block as you need but i i always add two organization block that one is OB121 another is OB122 because some cases if your program has some error when you download it will not stop the download it will take the download of your program but CPU will going to stop CPU will stop okay if we take the OB121 CPU will not stop. It will show the error. 
but it your program your cpu will in run mode and your process will run okay as well as the module access error your program has the module but physically it not there or there is a failure module failure then your cpu going to stop if you take that ob122 organization block then your cpu will not will not goes to stop mode okay and here the organization block which language you want to take you can select from here stl ladder or fbd by default that three language you can find but in professional you can also create the scl program in scl language okay okay in stl here you can give the name of your program here i am giving the name as online training training okay finish okay okay here you can click and this button if you click your block name will show the all details that size of work memory language creating language symbolic name version other author name you can if you give the author name who made this uh, program you can give this to okay this one show the small icon this one it will give like this this one give a bigger icon okay this one is for the online mode and this is for the download okay and this is for net pro configuration network net pro okay but for the harder configuration you need to go to symmetric 300 station here you can see the hardware and the cpu model if you go to the if you click double click you, you will go the program cpu program but we want to configure the hardware so you can click the object property but if you click here it will is in read only so you cannot edit the parameter setting of your cpu okay you can set from the hardware setting so click the hardware here this rack if you create the project by new option you need to add the rack universal rack from the here 300 cpu here is the rack you can take the rack from here but we take the but we create the project by using project user and take the cpu so it automatically create the universal rack so in cpu you know that the first position that the location first location is for the power power module okay there is 11 yes there is 11 module location in universal rack 0 if you need more module you need to add another rack that will show as a in bracket 1 universal rack okay so first one for the power rack second for the cpu third for the interface module im module with the next universal rack okay from 4 from the location 4 to 11 you can add the io module okay today we will not show that today we will now configure the cpu just double click it will open the cpu properties okay in general you can give the cpu name so keep it by default no problem give you can give the plant pro, plant name location of your plant and you can also add the comment okay here at startup properties you don't need to change anything because siemens by default give this option 
by uh, many test so you can keep it okay synchronous cyclic no problem today we will not discuss about that here is the cycle and clock memory that here you can see the scan cycle monitoring time it's showing as 150 in millisecond here you can see the millisecond that means the ob1 that update ob1 cycle process cycle cycle that if your program user program take the more time more than 150 your cpu will go to stop mode but it will this is the maximum cycle time will allow okay so normally it will take 1 to 10 millisecond but if your program is large then it will take more time to scan full program okay and here it can cycle load from communication it will add extra 20 percent that means 150 millisecond of 20 percent of 150 millisecond is 30 millisecond so total in 180 millisecond as consider of maximum cycle time and that 20 millisecond 20 percent of that 150 millisecond use for the communication that for your pgpc that programming device or your hmi or the uh, drive communication scatter communication both will take from the by this 20 percent from 150 millisecond okay here we can select the clock memory byte by default it is zero that clock memory byte is very important that will give us the pulse number of pulse which we can use in our program 10 hertz pulse 1 hertz pulse 2 hertz pulse 5 hertz pulse like that okay we'll do we'll use that byte or pulse in our program here in the retentive memory retentive memory will work that if your cpu going to stop or go goes to stop for any case for any case you stop by your choice you uh, made the power stop power shutdown for any case cpu goes to stop then your memory your signal type will keep intake that before the cpu stop that time if your value is 20 or if your uh, binary boolean tag value is true it will keep it as it is and that need no battery even your battery cpu battery inside battery is damaged or zero that time also it will keep store your data but db db block data block also has the retentive memory but that db db block retentive data take extra battery support of your cpu keep the data intake okay that memory retentive memory you can use the byte from 16 so we have used the clock memory for 0 so from 1 to 15 byte 15 it will not use as a retentive if you use here as a 1 that means from the 1 byte to your available byte use as a retentive all data will save as a retentive but it will take your cpu memory it will it is a extra load of your memory okay so by default you can use this one or you can use as your choice no problem number of s7 timer and how many retentive memory you can use uh, that will you can check by your uh, cpu model number in a manual okay you can get the uh, retentive memory size from the manual of your cpu okay number of s7 timer start with t0 
you can use t10 or t0 no problem c0 it start with 8 counter this is counter c0 okay interrupt will not and other things you can keep as it is no issue here there is another option that is called the protection level by default it is no protection means no need, need password if you select the right protection that if you give here the password it need password to download the project to plc but for ongoing online for monitoring no need password for downloading it need password but if you choose three then your password need all the time to read monitoring or download okay i'll keep it as no protection okay here in communication the connection resource reserved for that connection is your reserve connection and maximum number of connection resource is 16 of that cpu 315 to pndp and that connection is is your net pro connection that how many device you have connect to your network okay but there is a reserve that pg communication pg communication that is for your programming device and op communication that too you cannot use as zero but if you here you can see you cannot select it as a zero so for op communication and pg communication it will reserve for one at least one connection reserve because you need to communicate to your plc anytime so that connection you have a reserve you can make it two or three but one is must and other connection except that two you have 14 connection the one connection established that will occupied by one so every connection will occupy it. so first connection first come first serve it will work like that okay thank you we'll discuss in next by adding IO module and a small program.